Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Today we are going to be doing some craft room organization, so let's get busy. So please don't judge me, but here is the nitty gritty. <laughs> We're starting at the door and everything gets piled up right at the door. So that's where I store my paint. And I just have some things left over from Christmas. That red thing was actually filled with all kinds of Christmas balls. I bought that for $5 last year at Kohl's. They were getting rid of all of their Christmas decorations. So I bought some of those. And then I just got all kinds of thrifting stuff piled up. Um, my Christmas crafts or Christmas projects are kind of in the center of the floor in a tub. And then um, I have a blanket and then my ring light. And then that's my work desk. And you're probably wondering, how does she work on that desk? It's difficult. It's very difficult. And there's my other desk I actually turned that around so now my back is to the wall instead of out in the center of the room and we're going to work on behind my desk today well I work on the middle of the floor and I work um, behind my desk today so I've already done some work and I'm just showing you my flower wall and I will show you how I built that coming up soon but I always have to have room for the dogs because they are always in my room with me and um, they always make a mess they're either chewing up their toys or chewing on a bone or under my feet they're just everywhere I actually purchased some carpet squares from Amazon that stick to the floor and I purchased some carpet remnants for like $10 so my carpet doesn't match, but I don't care. At least the floor is carpeted and that helps keep it warmer because it was a garage. There's no air vents in there and it gets pretty chilly. Okay, so now that you've seen the mess. <laughs> so this red cage right here, I actually bought from Kohl's. They were redoing their Christmas decor last year. And so they clearanced out all of their clear or Christmas decorations and it cost me five dollars and it was completely full of red christmas balls so now i am just going through my christmas tote i have so much christmas stuff um to diy with it's not even funny honestly um i actually found another tote downstairs that didn't even get brought up so i have two totes full of christmas decor that i can diy with so I'm just getting it organized and putting it together. And I actually ended up uh, donating a bunch of stuff because it, it was just too much. And some stuff I knew that I was never going to get to. And I even bought more decor this year, which I didn't need. Not one thing. Not one thing. I didn't even have time to DIY the stuff that I bought. And most of the stuff in the tote is Dollar Tree stuff that I rarely DIY with. So here I am. I'm just going through and putting it together because I have multiple items and I actually put it in a bigger tote and my husband comes in and looks at the tote and I put the lid on it, um, just laid it on top because it was overflowing, like more than overflowing. And um, he's like, you're never going to get the lid on that. And I was like, what you want to bet? <laughs> I did get the lid on, but let me tell you, it was a struggle. I went shopping again. Look, they have pink trees at the Dollar Tree. Today is the first Friday open challenge. Now, the first Friday used to be the fourth Friday, but they've moved it to the first Friday. So now you will be able to join Lisa and Sarah, Lisa from Our Gray House and Sarah from Jujubee DIY, first Friday of every month. And this month, the theme is craft room organization. And I was lucky enough to be chosen as the guest host. 
So make sure to go over and visit their channels and let them know that Tammy sent you. All right, guys, let's get back into this cleaning. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I emptied this toy box. This is a toy box that my mother had purchased somewhere. I have no idea where. I had it full of canvas fabric, and so I just emptied it out. My daughter wants a toy box for my grandbaby, so this is perfect. Of course, it's not going to be orange, but it will be probably on one of my third Thursday thrift flip videos because I was working on flipping that. Now, I just wanted to show you this is my um, flower corner. And I had everything on a flower tower that um, my husband built for me. And I decided it took up too much room in my little corner here. And so I wanted to place my flowers on the wall in this corner. And since that's where they've been sitting, that's where we're going to put them. So I took that wire shelf apart and I'm having him screw the wire shelves to the wall and he's just using a very long screw and putting that in the studs with a washer to keep the shelves in place. And then I used my crocodile and I poked holes in these trash cans. Now, I bought these trash cans at Dollar Tree, some of them. And then I found some at, actually, the Dollar Tree Plus had really nice trash cans for $5. And the black trash cans, I believe I got them at, I'm pretty sure I bought them at Dollar Tree or Five Below. I'm not, I'm not really certain. I'm sorry. You can find pretty cheap trash cans wherever you go. And um, I just used my crocodile and I poked holes in the back and I poked holes on either side so that I could zip tie them together so that they weren't sagging or anything like that because I wanted them even across these, these rails. And then I took each little trash can and I put the zip ties through the back and I just tightened them to the wire on these wire shelves. And it worked out perfectly. So I did this all the way up. Now I started at the bottom and I didn't tighten them all the way until I got all three trash cans on the uh, shelf, on the shelf wire. So I started at the very bottom and then I put some flowers in there so that I would know where to put my next trash can row. Now these are from Dollar Tree, those trash cans are. The black ones, I'm not sure. They may have came from Lowe's, um, but I could only get three of the bigger ones on the bottom shelf, but I could get four of the littler ones from Dollar Tree. And that is what my flower corner looks like now. And I kind of took it around to the back wall as well. So there's two rows of trash cans on the back wall. And then there's, or I'm sorry, two columns. And there's three rows of trash cans on the back aisle or back wall. And then there's four rows of trash cans on the side wall and four across. And on the very bottom, only three across. Okay, so when we went to Lowe's, I found this cabinet. And the cabinet was damaged. And it was back in the clearance section. And they had $37.50 on it. I believe the cabinet was like $120 to start with. And I ended up getting it for $17.50. Now, why I didn't buy both of them, I have no idea. But I kick myself every day for not doing it. But anyway, I picked the best one out of the two that was the le least damaged. But I wished I would have grabbed them both. Anyway, so I just take this cabinet. My husband kind of glues the back together. And you'll see him here. He's clamping it. I think he he nailed something in there, but he took some wood glue, glued it together, and then he clamps it. And then after he does that, I am just taking my wood stain in weathered gray, and I am just staining it all over. It's much faster to stain it than it would have been to paint it. So 
it still gives me the same effect and I like everything in my room to be light, bright, and airy. So um, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that my last dresser that I did for my room was gray. And so this matches really well with that. So then um, after I get it stained and it dries, he hung it up for me and that's what it looks like on my white walls. So then I am just taking a rake and I like hanging stuff from rakes. I have all of my garlands um, hanging from a rake because most of your garlands that you purchase, they have little loops on the bottom of them or on either end. And so I just take my garland and hang it from the rake. And I put the rake up as high as I could get it. And then I just start hanging my garlands. Now, all these garlands I got at Hobby Lobby or Joann's for like 90% off. Those were Valentine's Day last year, 90% off at Hobby Lobby. And then um, these other ones that you're going to see me hang up, they were 70 I think 70% off at uh, Joann's at the end of Christmas. And you actually just saw me use that little felt ball garland right there in my last video. So I actually did use my stuff. Okay, so now I decided to go ahead and use this Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree sticky paneling stuff around my sink. I thought it would look pretty neat. However, it's been up there for about six months and it's starting to come off the wall. I don't know. It's not adhering to the wall. And I did clean the wall before I put it on. So I'm not sure why it, it just doesn't stick very well. Um, and I'm not really sure I like it anyway. So I'm probably going to be taking that down and redoing it. So I'm just removing that. I have this jadeite towel holder. Super nice. I found that at a thrift store for like 2 or $3. Anyway, so I just continue to put this on the wall. I actually put it behind my sink as well. Um, I staggered them so that it would look like grill tile, you know, the bricklay pattern. But I, I'm just not liking it. It's not holding up very well. But I mean, for a dollar twenty-five, I guess what do you expect? <laughs> I guess I expected more because I bought like fifteen of them, so that's more than a dollar twenty-five. Anyway, I just keep putting those up and I'm actually going to fill in that space. I don't know why they left that space there on that wall, but I'm going to be redoing this wall and I might just reuse my um, textured wallpaper because I got plenty of it. Now, I'm just showing you how I clean my sink because in my sink, I am constantly um, cleaning my paint brushes and um, cleaning my paint bowls and all that kind of stuff. So it gets pretty grimy with paint and I buy those little pumice stones from Walmart and they're like a dollar. Um, you can get them back in the cleaning section and I use that on my porcelain sink and it comes pretty clean. Now I don't show you here but I also use some baking soda and some Comet and Sometimes I will just put some bleach water in the bottom and let that sit as well to brighten up the porcelain. Here are my lazy supervisors taking a nap. Mazikeen is using Samara as a pillow and that's what I have to deal with all the time. Must be nice while I'm working, they're napping. She was actually snoring really bad. <laughs> That's why I that's why I recorded her cuz she was snoring so bad. I don't think you can hear her. But she did move either one. All right, so now I'm getting to this dresser. I found this dresser oh gosh, in McPherson um for like $30. It might have been $39. I don't know. It was super cheap. And I, it looks exactly like that. When I saw it, I fell in love with it. And my husband was like, are you kidding me? And I'm like, no, I'm, it's coming home with me. I don't care. And he was like, oh my God, seriously. He said there was something wrong with me. And I'm like, yeah, I love it. So um, it's very, very chippy. There's a lot of paint coming off of it, but it's solid. Um, and 
I mean, it's solid wood and I love it. Now the wheels were missing, but that's okay. I have wheels and some of the knobs were missing and that's okay too, because I'm going to replace those. So no big deal. All that can be fixed. And so I am just showing you how much I love this dresser. Like it's in such good shape. <laughs> <laughs> the drawers are in good shape. The only thing is, is that the drawer stops were missing. So that's okay. We fixed that. Um, there was some hardware missing and that's okay. Not a big deal. Um, there was a lot of chippy paint. And so I just start sanding it down to get all the loose paint off. Now I don't sand it completely a hundred percent bare down to the wood. I just get off as much as I can because I like the chippy look and I haven't decided yet exactly how I'm going to finish it. I don't know if I'm, if I'm going to go ahead and sand it down and so you can see all the colors because there's like four colors on this dresser or if I'm going to ombre it. I have a few ideas. I just have not decided what I'm going to do with it yet. So, and you can see there that top drawer is pushed in all the way. So the drawer stops are missing, but that's okay. We fixed that. Um, and then I try to sand it in there and I'm like, okay, that's not going to work. So I decide that I'm going to pull out the drawers. We, I sand every inch of it. So all over on the sides, front drawers, everything. And can you see the colors there? So I'm just showing you some of the colors that are on this dresser. And then I take my wood scraper because my sander wasn't getting it all and there was still loose paint. So I wanted to make sure that I got all of the loose paint, got it all cleaned up really well. So I just use my scraper and I love this scraper. My gosh, my daughter got this for me for my birthday and I love it. So then I take the drawers out, I remove the hardware and I give them a good sanding. And again, I do not sand them down to the bare wood. I just take off the loose paint. I almost left them like that and not painted it, but um, I went ahead and painted over it. Now I take this quick wood and it is like Bondo kind of. You take off little chunks and then you have to knead it together like dough. And once it turns white, you've got it kneaded pretty well because the outside is brown so you have to like mix the two compounds together so you just like play with it like you would silly putty or play-doh and you just knead it together and then once it turns white you use it like a wood filler and I use that to fill the holes because the holes were pretty large and I'm going to be drilling new holes and I just wasn't sure what kind of drawer pulls that I wanted to use at the time. So I still don't have drawer pulls. I'm not sure which one, what kind I want to use. But after I get that done, um, we fill the, well, I fill the holes with the wood putty. And then I take it over and spray paint the whole thing black. Now this is for me, and if it wasn't for me, I would have been a little more careful and taped off the drawers and did a better job of not getting spray paint on everything. But I might just go back and stain the drawers, so I just haven't decided how I'm going to finish this yet. It just hasn't told me, because I love all the colors coming through, but I also wanted it to look kind of fancy and match the other dresser that I have in my room. So I spray paint the drawers, I spray paint the body of the dresser, and then I spray paint the top. And I spray paint this in the flat black Rust-Oleum primer. And it was actually getting cold and the sun was going down, so it was taking forever to dry. So it's the next day and I am using this all-in-one paint in the color cobblestone. And now with this all-in-one paint, it is a paint primer and sealer all-in-one. And it's very durable. I really do like the paint, but you have to stir it. You have to stir it a lot. <laughs> you have to stir it in between coats. You have to stir it a lot. 
because you want to make sure that you get a nice even coat and that the sealer and the primer is mixed up in the paint. And I am just using a roller to roll this on and it goes by super quick because there's no, it's all straight edges. There's no detail in this dresser whatsoever. So I roll the body of the dresser first and then I roll the paint on the drawers. And I thought this paint would dry darker, but it actually didn't. It's pretty similar to the color that I used on my other dresser, but I'm pretty sure that I used an Annie Sloan color. So I was confused by that. But so this is where the dresser is going to go. Now, as you can see, I hung some stuff up on the wall, but the floor is a mess. It is. I have stuff piled everywhere. The shelves are organized. So now here's the dresser in that spot. I got everything moved out. My husband put some wheels on for me and I vacuumed the floor. They look great. It fits there perfectly. It's not too wide. And you can see the chippiness in the drawers in the dresser. So I just haven't decided how I'm going to finish this yet. I have a decal that I might put on it, but I haven't decided if I'm going to sand it down and make it chippy and so you can see the different paint colors or if I'm going to ombre it. I'm just not sure. So if you have any ideas on how I should finish the dresser, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. So here it is. I do have the drawers pulled out so that I can put stuff in them and get it organized. I actually reorganized the wreaths above the dresser. And um, do you like my sign there? Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. <laughs> if you're liking what you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's another rake on the wall for my garlands. And then that's my flower corner. I love how the flower corner turned out. I still love it. And I'm going to keep it that way. And then there's my vacuum, some dollar store stuff, Dollar Tree stuff. And this is how I actually store my ribbon. My husband made this for me um, out of PVC pipe. He cut it in half and my ribbon sits on it perfectly. I love it. I love it because you can see it. And then I got one of these desk organizers from Michael's. I will link that down in my description box if you're interested in one. Um, I used a coupon and, or it might've been on sale. I'm not sure, but I love this thing. I love it. I organized all my paintbrushes, my pens, my Cricut tools. Like it holds so much. My scissors, all that stuff. Like it holds so much. I love it. And it turns. I love that it turns. So I don't have to like go through several cups of, okay, where's this brush? Where's that brush? <laughs> so I just really, really like this. And it just makes it more convenient when I'm looking for a pen or a carpenter pencil or my scissors or my wire cutters or whatever. I have it all right there at my fingertips. So these are just some of the things that I have done to organize my craft room or my craft space. And let me know down below in the comments, which idea was your favorite? I'm just curious. I'm always looking for new ideas to organize my stuff because I just have so much and I utilize every inch of my craft room from floor to ceiling. So I'm just adding the rest of my paintbrushes in the middle and I buy paintbrushes from Dollar Tree all the time. And I also purchase some really nice paintbrushes that I use very sparingly, which I should probably use more um, because it would make redoing furniture a lot easier. Okay, so here is a look at what it looked like before. And I have not finished my china cabinet. And here is a look at what it looks like after. So I did get most of my stuff cleared out of the middle of the room, but then uh, stuff got moved back to the middle of the room. I still have some work to do, 
but it is a lot better than the way it was before, and I do have all my Christmas stuff put away. So that is good, but it does look a lot better, and I am happy with the progress that I made, and of course, I still got some more work to do. I hope to finish the middle of the floor this weekend. All right, guys, don't forget to go over and visit Lisa's channel from Our Gray House and Sarah's channel at Jujube DIY. I will also link the playlist down below as well as their channels in my description box. I hope you enjoy the playlist and get some organization ideas to help you organize your craft supplies. And don't forget to let me know which idea was your favorite. Hi guys, I want to thank you for joining me today and I hope you had a fabulous holiday and I hope you have a magnificent new year. And I want to thank Lisa from Our Gray House and Sarah from Jujube DIY for having me as a guest host this month. I was so excited to join them and I hope you enjoyed my craft room. Of course, it's not done, but I have a huge room and I have worked in there for weeks, weeks, I'm telling you. And I was sick for two weeks and anyway... Um, over the holidays. So it was, was not fun. Um, but anyway, I got a lot done. I got a lot moved out. And now my only dilemma is, do I donate the rest or do I try to DIY it? <laughs> um, but my goal is to DIY it over the next year. I have not been thrifting in weeks. Um, I've stayed away from the thrift store because I have so much stuff and I feel like a lot of stuff I just need to mark and get out of there, which I do have stuff marked and ready to go to the booth. So there's that. But anyway, I want to just thank you again for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a great weekend. All right. Bye guys. So no matter what gets purchased, it seems like everything ends up in my room. Everything. Like they just open the door, throw it in, and that's where it lands. Right by the door, usually. This time they brought it clear in to the floor. Like, clear in. Right here. That's my husband's house. Not mine. Hi, guys. I want to thank you so much. Are you guys done? Are you done? Can you quiet down? Two seconds. Two seconds. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I hope you've had a fabulous holiday, and I hope this year is fantastic and wonderful for you and brings you great things. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? <laughs> you gotta have all the attention. All the attention.